when you buy Michigan no-fault insurance under the new statutory scheme, you have choices about the personal insurance protection known as PIP or the no-fault benefits you can buy. If you want, and this was covered in the Detroit Free Press article that we just published on Sunday, you can get unlimited coverage. Absolutely the way to go. It's what we've had all along. It's what you want. It's what protects you and protects others who drive in your car, ride in your car, whatever they're doing. Then there's a $500,000 policy. Now that sounds like a lot, but out of that, it's possible you may have to pay for the other motor vehicle and the accident victims in that vehicle in case they run out of insurance because they cheap it out. Then there's a $250,000 limit. Well, that's half as good as 500 and better than what you could get. Then after that, there's zero no fault when you have Medicare Part A and Part B. That leaves lots of holes, lots of gaps, and you don't get the premium coverage that we're all used to. And there's also a zero no fault if you have a qualified health insurance policy. That means your health insurance policy is gonna pay for your health care from the automobile accident. Now, you're not gonna know whether that's true, and it's gonna take a long time to get certified, so stay away from that. Then we've got also the Medicaid option, which means if you're on Medicaid and you prove that you can't afford uh, getting good insurance because you require Medicaid, then you can get a $50,000 coverage. Again, if you can afford to drive, if you can afford insurance, buy the good stuff and pay a little more because it's not going to be that much more and protect yourself with an excess or umbrella policy. It'll protect you against anyone who comes after you because you may be at fault.